All right, what we're looking at is QBasic.js. This is a, a new uh, QBasic-like interpreter. It runs online, so we don't have to download and install anything. You can if you want to. I won't get into that with this video, but I'm just going to go over some of the basics or some of the uh, little quirks or problems I ran into. But um, it's a very interesting project. It looks like it's active being developed and I just want to do my share and promote this a bit so we have a, a little demo program um, and I'm just gonna run it to start off because I know I only have a few seconds to get you guys interested so we're displaying uh, a cow and a bear here and uh, so what's interesting about this is normally with online uh, basic editors or, or interpreters is that uh, accessing your local files is a little bit of a problem but um, QBJS provides you with this virtual file system. So I wanted to start off with that. That's what makes this interesting to me is that you can do this. Other online editors uh, expect you to find other, you know, creative ways of doing it, having your own web server and having access to that and uploading it and so on. This makes it really easy. Um, so let's just go over some of the, uh, the features of this uh, editor. Um, so we can save our or open our uh, programs from here. Uh, this allows you to save it locally. Um, I meant this. And you can reopen using the open command. And this little triangle is for running. And you could also share your code or, to some extent. Uh, I'll go over that later. And settings here, this is allows you to pick different themes. So we can... Uh, We can choose any of those. Let's just stick with the default. And uh, on this side, we can uh, collapse uh, our console. Let's close that first. Our console output here and bring it back. And we could expand our code area and our, our screen area here and make the console disappear. So all this is very easy. Uh, we could also resize things. So we can resize here. And uh, we could also display console information. So if you're used to debugging with, with using the print command, uh, this is a more um, powerful method here. Let me just uh, open up a new, new tab. And let me just paste this small example to show you. So rather than doing uh, prints in your uh, in your code, you could do this. So now we see in the in the console output we get this information. So if you're doing a lot of graphics commands, uh, you don't want your prints to be messed up by all the uh, graphics drawn over it or underneath it. Uh, so this gives you clear information in the console window. So if you're if you're stepping through your debugging and you're not getting a certain value, you could print it here and it makes things easier. I haven't used this too much yet, but I know it'll be useful in the future. So this is something to keep in mind. Um, the, uh, the JavaScript uh, tab here, this is your uh, transpiled JavaScript code. So whatever this is in basic, this is get converted into JavaScript and it displays it. And uh, the files tab, I'll show you how to use that. Uh, so with our initial example, uh, I just uh, had all this and hit run, but I didn't show you how I got here. So if we wanted to uh, add a new file, let's just pretend that uh, we wanted to add a third image. Let's uh, add uh, a moose. So we could drag a a moose PNG file, and uh, if we just replace this uh, bear here with the uh, moose, we should get a moose now instead of the bear. There you go. And uh, how about if you wanted to just save this, all your data, would you have to re-upload the bear, cow, and moose all over again? No, uh, the interesting thing about QBJS is that when you save now, it saves it into a project.zip. I'm just overwrite the one I had before. And uh, 
if we uh, clear everything, so let's bring our, back our console window, go into files, there's nothing here. If we select to open that file again and expand our asset. So we have all our files and all our code uh, just as we were before. So this is a, a really easy way to um, to work online and still keep all your files with the least amount of, of problems or effort. Uh, this is, a, this is a, an easy way to manage all your all your assets basically. So this this includes sound files. If you have sound files, you could drag them in here. So this is one of the key features that I like about QBJS. Um, now I also like uh, Basic Anywhere Machine where I did a video before and if you like uh, more traditional QBasic syntax, this supports it more. It, like you could do things like uh, use line numbers, uh, labels. Well, you could use labels with the um, QBJS, but you can't use go sub and go to to the labels. Um, but uh, this is not a video about uh, basic anywhere machine, but I just wanted to put out there if you're if you're kind of used to more uh, strict QBasic uh, style, um, this would be another option for you to look at. Uh, so let's just go back to QBJS. And uh, I did find a few quirks. Uh, one of them is uh, if you do make the mistake of um, of uh, let's say just re not having the uh, the the brackets in in that way, it, it doesn't it doesn't work and it doesn't give you an error. Um, so if we put back the uh, the bracket and the dash here, everything works fine. So you'll run into little things like that, but it's still you know uh, worth trying out. Uh, I'll report you know these little issues that I discover. Uh, but there's enough here to make this fun, which I consider a big uh, point anytime you want to try something. Uh, when I tried it a few months ago, it was a little frustrating because I just, at the time, I, I didn't feel like uh, I wanted to delve into it more because I wasn't sure if this is something that's going to be supported. But I've kept my eye on this and it looks like a lot of things were fixed. So I gave it another try and much better results the second time around. So if you've tried it before and uh, didn't like it so much, Give it a second chance. Uh, I'll I'll do some more videos when I get a chance, but I just wanted to do this uh, little intro video and show you some of the things uh, I I've been playing around with. So it looks good. Give it a try. And that's it for this video.